Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here with Micro Survey, and my friend Andrew at Leica recently got a new demo unit of an MS60. So we decided to take it out in the field and test it out and get some data. And uh, I'm going to take it into Micro Survey CAD and show you some cool stuff after the fact. So we're here in Halifax, Nova Scotia at the Queen's Mark at the waterfront. And um, I'm going to uh, take some video of Andrew. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the scanning applications with the MS60. And then uh, we'll check out the data in Microsurvey CAD. So without further ado. Hey guys, Andrew Gillis with Leica Geosystems here. Like Kaylee said, I'm here with my new demo, Generation 2 MS60. It's got a couple new scan features on it. So we're here at the Queen's Park and we're gonna put the instrument to the test and uh, try out some of the new scan features. Okay, so we're gonna set up two different scans here today. We're gonna select an area and do a polygon area scan with one definition. And with our second scan definition, we're gonna do a full dome scan and pick up the entire scene. So I'm just gonna create the scan definitions now. You can select which type of scan you'd like to do. For the first one, we're gonna do a polygon area and get it scanned. At Andrew's recommendation, we decided to use the defined polygonal area to select the rise again structure on the right-hand side of our scene and do a colorized scan of this area. All right, so we've collected our feature scan. Now we're going to do a full dome scan. So I'm going to take off the radio handle and select the full dome scan option. So for the rest of the scene, we decided to use a full dome scan, but for the sake of time, we decided not to colorize it. So we have uh, one feature area that is going to be colorized, and then we are going to have the rest of it that's all been picked up just in black and white. All right, I'm back at the office. It's a couple weeks later, and I have the time finally to sit down and look at this point cloud and show you guys a couple of my favorite tips and tricks when working uh, with point clouds in Microsurvey CAD. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the one step uh, import process into Microsurvey CAD. Um, and this is using the uh, DBX import utility. So in order for the DBX utility to bring in the scan data, you need to have the Leica Cyclone uh, free viewer license downloaded onto your computer. Uh, the link to do that is found on the Microsurvey help desk. Okay, so you're going to want to go to the MS Traverse tab and then the uh, import raw data file over on the right hand side. Uh, and then here where it says browse, you want to browse to the folder that contains the DBX data. And then I want to make sure that this uh, option here, process scans, is toggled on. Then I'm going to hit uh, import. And I'm going to let the utility do its thing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is clean up some of this noise. Uh, so I want to clip here under MS Point Cloud under the clipping options. Uh, and I'm going to choose clip outside polygon and just choose this little area here. Right click. Um, so if I had gotten that messed up and I had accidentally blown out all of the uh, data from the center of the clipping and everything outside, you can easily change that under here where in the clipping manager, this just automatically pops up whenever you do any sort of clipping. Uh, if you hit inverse, then I get all of the out, outside data and then uh, the inside data would be deleted. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time cleaning up some of the rest of the noise that's um, in our working area. Okay, so my favorite tool out of all of the uh, point cloud tools in MSCAD is called the wall tool. 
what the wall tool basically allows you to do is to compute a work plane um, and your orientation from just basically sampling the points that form that plane. So under MS Point Cloud, you wanna go under orientation and hit wall. And all I have to do is hit that wall and it calculates, the program calculates the plane. So now anything that I draw, if I'm going to, uh, for example, maybe draft in those windows, um, it will all come in on that work plane. And the reason why I chose this wall is because you can see that there's this other sort of protrusion. There's two protrusions in the front of, uh, of this building. So you have your wall along the back, but then you also have these two sections that kind of come out in the front. So this is a good place to showcase the wall tool. So now uh, let's say I, you know, I drafted the, the back face and now I wanted to work on this protrusion area. First thing I want to do is hit reset view to world and that will clear all of my orientation settings. And I want to draft the front face of this protrusion area. So if I go back into MS Point Cloud and hit wall, now when I'm drawing, you can see that everything that I draw is automatically coming to the front wall of the protrusion area. It's not on that back wall where I put that window in. Um, so it really does a great job of separating the different work planes. Okay, so I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, digitizing some more of the features in the data set. Um, I'm not going to do the entire data set, but I'm just going to do enough to kind of give you a good idea of, um, of kind of, you know, the functionality of that tool and kind of a glimpse of what the possibilities are. Okay, so the first thing I want to take note of is we've got this kind of uh, wall here on the right hand side. Um, and there is, it's an angled wall, so it kind of goes out flat on this plane and then it slightly angles outwards. By selecting the two different work planes, it allowed me to very easily draft everything on this one face and then choose the next work face as it angled away and it all joins up uh, properly. We've got details on the back and then we've got some of these details in the front. So the details on this protrusion part in the front, that was pretty much entirely glass. So that was a little bit tricky to draft up because um, it just, you know, the LiDAR just reflected right off of it. So there wasn't a lot of return um, on those protrusions. But like I said, this is just to demonstrate the functionality um, and to show um, the possibilities and how simple it is to jump between the back and the front. Another kind of uh, tool that goes hand in hand with that wall tool is the wall and floor tool. So uh, same idea, it's just clicking along the plane that you want. You just click once for the wall and click twice for the floor and that will orient you 90 degrees to be able to draft on the floor. So if you're doing like um, any sort of condo surveys or anything like that where you're doing scans indoors and, uh, and then drafting up the plans afterwards, um, it's super easy to do that too. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you found my uh, tips and tricks informative. Uh, thanks to my friend Andrew at Leica for uh, getting together and showing me the MS60. Uh, the MS60 and Microsurvey CAD just kind of makes sense together. So if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out. And happy surveying to you until we meet again.